Good morning, everyone. In statistics, there is three types of data sets. First, cross sections. Two, time series. And three, panel data sets. Panel data sets, it's usual and important in some topics, especially in economics, for example, petrol price and times. In this video, I want to speak about how to analyze and fit regressions to panel datasets in the state or statistical programs. In other words, this video has some steps. What's the panel datasets? How to analyze panel datasets? How to fit regressions to panel data in state or? And how to interpret results and tables of these regressions? Okay. I'm Dr. Shah Mirzalu, PhD in Biostatistics and a freelancer. Yes, I'm a freelancer and it's more than six years that I receive paper, thesis, and class projects and write reports for that. Then if you have any projects about a statistical analysis, you can send it to me. I will receive, will check, and write to you conditions to do that. Now, without any delay, hurry up to Armadan class. Okay, dear friends, I start this tutorial with data sets. First of all, we need a data sets that is panel formats. I use a book named Econometric Analysis of Panel Data by Buddy H. Baltagi, and this book has some data sets, but now we use a data set named produce.prn. All right, here, link to book data sets and also link to produce.prn data sets. But what's the characteristics of these data sets? In this uh, data, we have a uh, dependent variables uh, named UNEMP, state unemployment rate, and uh, this data is a panel data set with 48 states over 17 years from 1970 to 1986. There is some independent variables, for example, the private capital stock, highway and streets, water and severe uh, facilities and other public building and structures, public capital and gross state products, and also uh, the employment in non-agricultural payrolls. Now, if I want to go and review uh, data sets, uh, I need to go to my do file and copy this code and paste here. This code, uh, I write import import delimited and the path your data is saved and finally clear and if I click enters, we see that our data sets is here. This is my data sets with a state as panel ID, year as time series, and some and other variables and also dependent variables. Now we see that my dependent my uh, panel ID named state is in string string formats. But, but what's the problem? If I want to describe these data sets, it's simple to write, describe, or copy and paste. And we see that state is in st string formats. And if I want to introduce data that my data sets is in panel formats, we'll see a problem. What's the problem? State are right here that the string variables not allowed in very list. The state is a string variables. Then we need to change format of states. Then first I tabulate state 
variables and I see that we have 816 uh, records and for every state we have a 70 frequency uh, in data sets then we need to uh, repeat for every state of a USA numbers for example for Alabama uh, number one for Arizona, number two, and similar to this. Then I use a function named sailed. All right, here gen state one equals sail per in parentheses underline n divided seventeen because we have seventeen uh, times repetitions. Now, if you run these codes and then drop state then rename state one as state then rename v1 as id and finally write xt set state year yearly you see that now we have no problem but what's the uh, corrections if you go to data editor, you see that now we have a new variable named state or state one that uh, repeated for Alabama state number one, for Arizona number two, and similar to 48 states. Okay. Now we can take a summarize. You can write sum or summarize. Click enter, and we see that for uh, we have 816 uh, records, and uh, for example, we have mean, standard deviation, minimum, and maximum of every variable here. But if you want to uh, show your data set schematically, you need to have some plots. But in panel data sets, uh, in my opinion, one of uh, the best plots is bar plots. Bar plots that show mean of every variables in time. Then I write these codes. This code wants to uh, have a plot, a bar plot for mean of every variable, for example, p cap, and this uh, uh, state of codes have some options. For example, so I set a label size and uh, so bar label size and also colors and some uh, options uh, such as captions. Then, if I click on enters, Stata indicated bar plots. This is a good uh, plot for panel datasets. Now we see that for mean of p cap, for mean of p cap in 1970s we have near 21,000, and in 1986 we have uh, near 27,000, and we have an increasing trend. If I want to uh, take similar process for another variables, I copy these codes and paste here and click enter. Now, state I start to show plot bar plots for every variables, but for the last variables means UNEMP, there is some notes. This is a bar plot for UNEMP, mean of UNEMP, and now we see that there is a, a variation similar to increasing, then decreasing, increasing, and then decreasing in time series. For example, the first variations start from 1970s and until uh, 1973, and another start from 1974 until 1979, as similar to this. But maybe you want to show 
statistics of your data sets in a table not a plot then you need to have a code similar to this it's simple you need to write a tab stats means a table statistics and list your variables and then write statistics uh, in parentheses mean and you need to say that uh, you want to have statistics by year then click on enters and state or uh, show similar uh, tables it's very good uh, tables now we see that uh, from 1970s to 1986 mean of pickups is is uh, as these uh, numbers and for a highway and until UNEMP we have uh, similar variations in data sets okay this is a brief description of your datasets in panel formats. But if I want to analyze datasets, for example, with a fixed effect, random effect, or uh, pooled or ordinary list square regressions, I need to check some assumptions. But what's the assumptions uh, to be checked about a panel data?